Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our series, Sambhav 2.0. In this series of Sambhav, we go ahead and we do questions which can be asked in IIT and GATE paper of 2025. Okay. So we will meet daily at 9 p.m. beta on our YouTube channel and we will do either of the three series. Either I will do a Sambhav series with you, which is for IIT and GATE exam, or I will do Sankalp series with you, which is for CUET preparation, or I will do Yakin series with you, which is for ISI preparation. In this series, series hum her rose. No baje aake, we will go ahead and we will do these series. Take a bit up. Question one on your screen is this. Try to answer this question yourself. Pause your screen. Try to do it yourself. Then I will do this question for you. The mean of six number is 30. One of the number is excluded. Mean of the remaining number is 29. Find the excluded number. This is the question that you need to go ahead and solve. Take your time. Try to do this question. Then I will do this. Take a bit up. Mean of 6 number is 30. So, let those number be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 and A6. So, A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 divided by 6. This is given to you as 30. So, what will be A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6 beta? 30 into 6. That means 180. It says the mean of 5 number is 29. Ek koi bhi ek number humne hata diya. Mean of 5 number is 29. A1 plus A2 plus A3, plus A4, plus A5, divided by 5, is equal to 29. Okay, A1, plus A2, plus A3, plus A4, plus A5, will be 29 into 5. This is going to be 145. So, what is the remaining number, beta? Dekho dhyan se. The sum of 6 numbers is 180. The sum of 5 numbers is 145. So, 6th number kya hoga? It will be sum of 6 numbers minus sum of 5 numbers. So, this will be 35. The correct answer to this question should be 35. It should be 35. Clear it? Okay, beta. Question number 2 on your screen now. Try to solve this question yourself. Post your answer in the chat window. Then I will do this question. Read the question. The arithmetic mean of n observation is m. n observation ka mean m hai. If the sum of n minus 4 observation is a, the mean of the remaining, the mean of the remaining four observation is. The arithmetic mean of n observation is m. So, matlab, jab maine n observation ko, i from 1 to n, divide by n, when I find the mean of n observations, I am getting m. So, what will be the sum of these n observations, beta? It will be n into m. Clear. It says the sum of n minus 4 observation is a. ठीक है. तो मतलब जब मैंने इन observations को add करना start किया, but कौन सा? The sum of n minus 4 observations. Try to understand. The sum of n minus 4 observations. माने, if I have n observations, तो इसमें से I am finding the sum of n minus 4 observations. So, I am excluding the four observations. I am excluding observation 1, 2, 3, 4. Or from n equal to 5 till n, I have taken I am taking the sum of n minus 4 observation. 
and its sum is given to me as a. This sum is given to me as a. Okay. It says what is the mean of the remaining four observations. So, we need to tell what is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 plus x7 plus x8 plus x9 divided by 4. The sum of the four observations. जो हमने skip करके बाकी observation का sum निकाला तो a आया. So what is the mean of these four observations? This is what we have to tell. Am I making sense? ठीक है बेटा. अब क्या करेंगे? We will try to open this up. तो इस sum को हम लिख सकते हैं. We can write this as x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus the sum of remaining observation from 5 to n x i. And I have written this as, ये पूरा sum क्या है बेटा? It is n into n. यही तो है. The sum of all n observations, it is n into m. I have written n into m here. Clear? Now, the sum of 5 to n is given to me as a. So, this is a बेटा. Right? So, I will get x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus a is equal to n into m. So, I will get x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 is equal to n into m minus a. So, the sum of the four observation will be n m minus a. So, its mean will be n m minus a by 4. So, the correct answer to, to this question should be a. Am I clear with this? Okay, beta. Next question on your screen now. Read it out. Try to do this question on your own. Then I will do it. Try to answer the question in the chat window. The mean of n items is x bar. If the first item is increased by 1, second by 2 and so on, find the new mean. Mean of n items is x bar. n items ka mean x bar hai. Har item ko humne badhaya. Kaise? First ko by 1, second ko by 2 and so on. Find the new mean. So let's see this. Mean of n items. So x1 plus x2 till xn by n. This is given to me as x bar. This is given to me as x bar. Now, what is happening here is that we have gone ahead and we have increased the x's. How do we increase the new mean? Let new mean be x bar dash. How do we get this? The first observation, I have added 1 to it. So, it will be x1 plus 1. Second observation, I have added 2 to it. x2 plus 2. Nth observation, I have added n to it xm plus n by n. Clear? Clear? Achha, I will open this up. Beta, what I will do now, I will rearrange it. I will rearrange it. x1, x2 till xn, I will take together. So, x1 plus x2 till xn, I have taken this together. Plus 1 plus 2 till n divided by right? Achha, now let us try to go ahead and tell me what is, achha, let me just, let me just do one more step in between x1 plus x2 plus xn divided by n, 1 plus 2 till n divided by n, right? This is the old mean, isn't it? What is the sum of n observations, beta? What is the formula of the sum of n observation? It is n, n plus 1 by 2. And then this is getting divided by n. I will cancel this out. This will give me x bar plus n plus 1 by 2. This will be your new mean. So your new mean will be old mean plus n plus 1 by 2. C is the correct answer. Clear? Okay, beta. Question number four. Try to do this question on your own, beta. Then I will do this. Just try this question. 
just give me one minute huh yeah i think this is enough okay try to do this question on your own four options are given to you the mean of income group of person is 400 another person of group has mean of 480 if mean income of all person in the two group is 430 find the ratio of the number of person in the two group take it let us try to do this thing the mean of the income of groups of person is 400 take it so when i do this is group a but okay so when i do summation x by n I get the mean as 400. Ye group X hai. In case sare values ko I add, divide by N, I get 400. The mean income of the second group is 480. So when I do summation Y by, I will name this as N1 by N2, number of observation, I get 480. Okay. If the mean income of all person in the two group together is 430, so, if I do the sum of all observations together, jitna x or y hai, sara ek saat kar lete hai. If I add all observation together and divide by the number of observation, I get the sum as 430. So, dekho beta. From here, what will I get summation x? 400 and 1. What will I get summation y? 480 and 2. When I add all observation together, and divide by the total number of observation. So, jo mean diya hai, that is given as 430. Instead of summation x, I can put 400 n1. Instead of summation y, I can put 480 n2. Divided by n1 plus n2, this is 430. So, I can just take this here. 400 n1 plus 480 n2 is equal to 430 n1 plus 430 n2. Right, just solve. Take this here, beta. Take this here. 50 n2 is equal to 30 n1. So, n2 by n1 will be 3 by 5. So, the ratio will be 3 by 5 or 5 by 3. n1 by n2 nikal lo. Yeah, n1 by n2 will be 5 by 3. n2 by n1 will be 3 by 5. The correct answer to this question is A. Am I clear? Homework question, beta. Homework. Try to answer this question yourself. The weighted mean of first n natural number whose weight is equal to the number of selection out of n natural number is given to you. You need to tell what will be the weighted mean. So it's a homework question. Try to do this yourself. Okay. Clear? Okay, beta. Thank you. Just before I go, hint towards your answer. Hint towards the homework question. Okay. Thank you.